the story of Burnback Pier, illustrated by some of the people who love it the most. I was driving in Western Supermare. I saw the sign and I knew I just had to have a look. My name's Sabet Chowdhury, and as a journalist, I'm fascinated by places like this, their history and how much they mean to people. It's a much-loved landmark, sitting here in the Bristol Channel, just across from South Wales, and people have been coming here for 150 years. Burnbeck Pier is unique. It's the only pier that links up to an island, Burnbeck Island. It's a bridge going to an island. There are some fantastic photos which show it off in its pomp from the early 1900s. Burnbeck Pier and the Pier House next to it were built in 1867. And I was born at the Pier House in 1946. My name's Steve Wide. I actually grew up on Burnbeck Pier, and for me, it's an extremely special place. Because it's an island, they could build stone buildings on it. And at one point, it was an early theme park. During the Second World War, the Admiralty took over the pier and it became HMS Burnbeck. The pier was used for weapons testing, uh, for anti-submarine work, etc. And my father was the commanding officer of the pier during the entire Second World War. I have a photograph of my dad standing next to a German bomb, which was dropped in 1943. Fortunately, it never went off. I'm Leslie McCann and I've got really fond memories of running down to catch the paddle steamers when I was just a teenager. There would be a bell rung and you had to run down the pier like mad just to try and catch it. But you still can see the toll booths where you used to have to hand your tickets in and run again to get to the ferry. On a Sunday afternoon, you would have loads of Welshmen coming over. The pubs in Wales didn't open on the Sunday, so we used to have a 1,000 or more people come over to have drinks on the pier, and we would hear them singing halfway across the channel on the way back. My name's Julia Richards. We used to come from Gloucester on holiday every summer, and we'd always come to the old pier. I wouldn't walk with the cracks, I'd have to walk on the planks, and I could look down and see the water swirling underneath. Yeah, Burnbeck Pier was always the place to be, and I believe even the Beatles came and sat where I'm sitting now. The pier continued to prosper until the Seven Bridge was built and the cheap motor car, that killed the paddle steamers and the pier. The pier just went totally into decline and decay. At the moment, I truly believe it can be saved, but we're running out of time. I'd definitely come back if they'd been restored. Yeah, I'd like to take my grandchildren on Burnbeck Island. Can it be saved? I don't know. But personally, I'd hate to see it fall into the sea because literally, this is a bridge into the past. Beautiful. Let's play it. Wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs>